Hey everybody, in today's lesson we're going to be talking a little bit about equilibrium and efficiency in a competitive market. We're going to start by defining efficiency. One definition that economists use for efficiency is efficiency exists when no individual in society can be made better off without making someone else worse off. There's another way to explain this graphically. In a market for a good, Efficiency exists when the marginal benefit to consumers of consuming the product is equal to the marginal cost to producers to make the product. So let's look at the market over here on the left. Let's consider this the market for movie tickets. As we can see in the market for movie tickets, the marginal benefit or the demand for movie tickets is downward sloping. The more movie tickets are consumed, the less the additional happiness enjoyed by consumers in this market since at a certain point, additional movie tickets simply provide less happiness than previous movie tickets did. The cost to movie theaters, or the supply represented by the supply of movie tickets, is upward sloping. Supply equals the increasing marginal cost to producers of movie tickets. Society's resources become more scarce as more and more movie tickets are provided. Therefore, the additional, the additional cost to providing movie tickets increases. The equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity in the market for movie tickets, labeled here as PE and QE, represent the most efficient combination of price and quantity in the market for movie tickets. The reason for this is that the total amount of consumer surplus, represented by this green triangle, and the total amount of producer surplus, represented by the purple triangle, are maximized at a price of PE and QE. Hence, this is the most efficient price and quantity combination. No individual in society can be made better off without making someone else worse off. To illustrate this, we'll look at what happens to total welfare or the community surplus, the sum of consumer surplus and producer surplus at any price other than PE and QE. And we'll see pretty quickly that as the price changes, some individuals may be made better off, i.e. producers or consumers, but only at the expense of other individuals being made worse off, either producers or consumers. Let's choose a couple of different prices and see how total welfare or total community surplus is affected at any price other than PE. Assume, for instance, that instead of producing a quantity of QE movie tickets, which we already explained was efficient, the market only produced Q1 movie tickets. At a quantity of Q1, let's examine the effects on efficiency. Notice that at a quantity of Q1, the marginal benefit enjoyed by consumers is rather high. There are many consumers who would be willing to pay a high price for Q1 movie tickets. However, the marginal cost to the producers of movie tickets is very low, indicating that this is an inefficient quantity of movie tickets because at Q1, the marginal benefit is greater than the marginal cost. Consumers of movie tickets are benefiting more from their production than it costs producers to produce. Resources are under allocated towards movie tickets at a price or at a quantity of Q1. If producers of movie tickets were to increase the quantity that they're producing towards QE, at the additional output, the marginal benefit would begin to diminish because more and more consumers who want to go to movies are able to go to movies. Therefore, there is less marginal benefit as the quantity increases. But the marginal cost to movie producers would increase because providing additional movie tickets costs more since resources needed to produce movie tickets are becoming more scarce. As the quantity increases towards QE, we move towards a more efficient allocation of resources where the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost and resources are neither under nor over allocated towards the production of movie tickets. Thus we say that QE is the most efficient quantity of movie tickets. Another way to analyze the inefficiency that exists at a quantity of Q1 is to examine the effects that it has on consumer and producer surplus. As we said, efficiency exists when no individual in society can be made better off without making someone else worse off. So what happens if the quantity of QE actually decreases to Q1? We can see the consumer surplus would clearly be lower. The yellow triangle here represents the area of consumer surplus at Q1. 
producer surplus appears to possibly have increased at a quantity of Q1 since the price consumers are willing to pay at Q1 is much higher represented by marginal benefit. Marginal benefit represents the price consumers are willing to pay since they're willing to pay as much as they benefit from consuming movie tickets. So as we see the area of producer surplus appears to be larger at Q1 and a price of P1 which corresponds with the marginal benefit. However, this increase in producer surplus comes at the expense of consumer surplus. The triangle representing consumer surplus is clearly lower at P1 and Q1 than it would be at PE and QE. Therefore, this has to be considered an inefficient allocation of resources when producing a Q1, mostly because the increase in producer surplus comes at the expense of consumers who enjoy a smaller area of consumer surplus. At a quantity of Q1 and a price of P1, there is a loss of total welfare in the market for movie tickets, represented by this blue triangle. The blue triangle represents the consumer and producer surplus that is sacrificed as we move from an efficient quantity of QE to an inefficient quantity of Q1. We call this blue triangle the welfare loss of a disequilibrium in the market. Sometimes welfare loss is referred to as deadweight loss. So we can use, also use the abbreviation DWL for deadweight loss. Any quantity less than QE, in this case Q1, is an inefficient allocation of resources towards movie tickets. In our example, we see that at a quantity of Q1, the marginal benefit of movie tickets is greater than the marginal cost of providing them, indicating that resources are under-allocated. Society would be better off with more resources allocated towards movie tickets. At a quantity of QE, the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost, indicating that resources are efficiently allocated towards movie tickets. Next, let's examine what would happen at a quantity greater than the equilibrium quantity, such as Q2. How is efficiency affected when resources are over-allocated towards the production of movie tickets? At a quantity of Q2, let's go up and see what the marginal benefit and marginal cost of movie tickets are. So we'll draw our dotted lines up. We'll see that the dotted line intersects marginal benefit at a very low level, indicating that at a quantity of Q2, society benefits rather uh, little from the provision of movie tickets. There are simply too many movie tickets being provided. Therefore, the additional benefit that consumers enjoy of going to movies is lower than it would be at a much smaller quantity. However, since it costs a lot to provide a lot of movie tickets, the marginal cost of providing Q2 movie tickets is rather high. In this case, we can see that at Q2, the marginal cost of producing movie tickets exceeds the marginal benefit to consumers of having this many movie tickets, indicating that resources are over allocated towards movie tickets. Society would be better off, in other words, there would be a more efficient allocation of resources if a lower quantity was produced, because at a lower quantity the marginal cost of producing movie tickets would decrease, while the marginal benefit to consumers of enjoying movie tickets would increase. Only a QE is the marginal benefit equal to the marginal cost. So let's now conduct a similar analysis examining the effects on consumer and producer surplus at a quantity of Q2. In that way we can determine whether at Q2 any individual is made better off at the expense of another individual who is made worse off. In order to achieve a quantity of Q2, producers would require a price equal to their marginal cost at Q2. Therefore, the price of movie tickets would have to be much higher than PE. It would have to be equal to P2. However, at this price, we can examine the effect on consumer and producer surplus and therefore examine whether or not the quantity of Q2 corresponds with a greater or a smaller overall level of consumer and producer surplus. At P2, consumers clearly have less welfare, less surplus, than they do at the lower price of PE. So consumer surplus is now a smaller triangle than it would be at PE. Producers, on the other hand, enjoy a larger amount of producer surplus than they do at the lower price. The producer surplus is now represented by the purple area here. Overall, however, once again, we see that even at a quantity of Q2, there is a loss of total welfare equal to the blue 
area here. So we can see that as producers enjoy a greater level of welfare, consumers suffer and consumers having to pay a higher price are made worse off because of the higher price of P2 and the greater quantity of Q2. Therefore, even though a greater quantity is being produced than it is at equilibrium, the total welfare is reduced and there is once again a welfare loss in the market for movie tickets. We can call this the deadweight loss or the loss of consumer and producer surplus resulting from a disequilibrium in the market. In this video lecture we have shown that at any quantity and price combination other than QE and PE one group of individuals in society is made better off but only at the expense of someone else in society being made worse off. At a quantity lower than QE the marginal benefit exceeds the marginal cost therefore resources are under allocated towards movie tickets. At a quantity greater than QE the marginal cost exceeds the marginal benefit therefore we can say that resources are being over allocated towards movie tickets and society as a whole would be better off with a lesser quantity supplied. Only a QE and PE is total consumer and producer surplus maximized in the market for movie tickets. At the equilibrium price and quantity the market is said to be efficient, meaning that resources are allocated in the best possible way towards the production of this good. At any other price quantity combination, resources are inefficiently allocated. Therefore, at equilibrium, efficiency is maximized in a competitive market.